a belief, any belief, Christian belief, belief in the spaghetti monster, whatever you want to believe in, yeah? Yeah, yeah. If you want people to accept it or to accept what you're saying is reasonable, you need reason to support it. This bottle. I can't get this bottle till he gives it to me. He can't give it to him until someone else gives it to him. And if you go back infinitely, I'll never get the bottle. No, no, no. But this is all coming from a very rational perspective. Isn't Obviously. It? Do you accept a belief could be true without proof? Without? Without proof. No. Alright, <laughs> watch this. Do you believe a... <laughs> Do you accept a belief could be true without proof? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Muhammad Salam had to be telling the truth, or had to be lying, or had to be deceived, or had to be crazy, or whatever name you couldn't make up for the fifth variable. No, what I said is this. I said, if you don't believe he lied, and you don't believe he was crazy, on whatever his variable is, <laughs> and you don't believe he was deceived, but well, then he has to be telling the truth. Okay. Well, you can see exactly the same. Exactly the same. And then, and then what happens? And then when you hear the message, that will then put form on the creator. It's too. What? Too well formed. What do you mean? Oh, it's too well formed. You could use exactly. It's locked down, my friend. It's locked down. Are easily fooled their senses, they are, yeah. their eyesight, their you know trick of their hand, and all of this stuff. But there's one thing out of all, all the 70 speakers here speaking, and there's one, there's only one thing that unites them that they've all got in common. Each speaker thinks they're the only ones who are right. But you know what? Do you know what? Technically, they're true. I'll tell you why. Because only one of them can be right. Well, how does that make it true? No, no, it doesn't make it. If no, each no. one of them thinks. No, 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 no. All right, all right. I, I, all right. I suspect you. I'll, I'll make it. Well. Yes, of course. All right. So I believe I am on the true path, and all of the religions are false. Yeah, I believe that. Do you? Yes, of course. Right. And a Christian will believe the same, and a Hindu will believe the same. In terms of false, yeah. you mean that they uh, they may have a, a true origin, uh, but uh, today. No, the, no, the religion themselves are false. Right. Okay. Not necessarily what uh, the source of them were. I'm talking about the doctrinal and the, the teachers what about today. The, what about the analogy? of God being at the top of a mountain on. and different groups of climbers using different routes to go up there. Okay, I'll explain, I'll explain something. I don't use no hairy fairy understandings, yeah? I don't use Belize in the sense of what makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Okay, the reality is this. How do you know about God? It's what God reveals about himself, yeah? Yeah. How does God reveal about himself? Yeah. He reveals it through his messengers. Right. So, all ones who claim to be his messengers, yeah? Yeah. Right. I briefly ask what you are. You're Muslim. You're a Muslim. Right. A Muslim convert? Yes. You're English and you become a convert? Yes. Okay. 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 So, we believe, yeah, that a creator who created everything, yeah? We believe that. Yeah. Can't prove it. No. Don't ask me to prove it. We believe it. Yeah. I can give you the reason why I believe it. It's not a problem. And my reasons why I believe it is 100% logical. Can't be touched. Well, go on then. Tell me. Oh, I don't need to. All right. You don't have to. <laughs> well, if it'll lock you down in it, I don't mind. Yeah, okay. This question you ask is like it can be expanded. You just need to atomize it and show you. You understand? Yeah. Look. Tell me what you want to tell me. All right. We believe Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, is a messenger of this creator. Yeah. yeah. Which means what? he brings is from the creator so I don't need no climbing analogies oh seven different climbers to the one summit and all that nonsense yeah but it's nonsense to you it's a bit disrespectful of my perspective on things no I'll tell you why it's not disrespectful because my information is coming from what I believe is the creator yeah just now, as the guy over there who's the born-again Christian is convinced that the, the Bible is is the message of God no, but, no, but, no but here's the thing you see you know what a belief is isn't it yes what a belief a belief is a, a well a belief is a a belief. It's, it's a, no, what is it? What is it? It's when you have a you have a belief as based largely. You don't know what a belief is, do you? Let me explain okay, to you. Okay, explain what. Because <laughs> you you're scrambling in the dark there, man. Okay. All right, all right. A belief is the. I'll, I'll explain. What, first of all, I'll explain what the other words you could use instead of belief in a sentence. So you could say, I believe this to be true. Yeah. You could say, I accept this to be true. You could say, I'm convinced this is true. Yeah. You could say, I'm convinced that this is true. Yeah. You could say, I trust this is true. Yeah. All of these words could be used for the same word belief. Yeah. All right. If I say to you, I accept it, that indicates to you I've had a proposition. Yeah? Yeah. You, you accept that, yeah? All right. So a belief is the result of a proposition. Yeah. Right. A belief doesn't need proof 
to be accepted as true. It depends. That depends. No, it doesn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. There are people who are coming from a very scientific perspective. No. Need empirical evidence. No. They do. No. That's... I have a friend who right. only believes. All right. His, his religion is science. All right. Okay. And he only believes in empir empirical okay. the, truth. The he believes that faith, All right. but by definition. All right. All right. Am I talking to your friend or am I talking to you? Talking to me. I tend to. So let's get a look at. So, uh, well, well, all right, I'll demolish you both at the same time. No worries. All right. <laughs> okay. So, a belief can be true, and it doesn't need proof for it to be true. Okay. 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 I, I'm assuming by your age, no disrespect. I, I'm assuming your father's died now, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Do you believe he was your father? Yeah. All right. Did you have a DNA test to prove he was your father? Yeah. But you did believe he was your father. Yeah. Without proof. Well, nobody gave me any evidence. No, no, no. But you believed it. Said, no, 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 no. That wasn't the question. Listen to the question. You believed it, though, didn't you? Yeah, because I had no evidence to Did you? Did you need any proof to believe it? No. Right. So you accept the principle, then, isn't it, that you can believe something even if you don't have the proof? But you need good, right? Okay. But you need good reason for it. Yeah. So if you say to me, if I say to you, How, do you believe your father's your father? And you say, yeah, I did. I said, did you prove it? And you said, no. Then I could ask you, well, why do you believe it then? Yeah. Why do you accept that proposition? Right, okay. And then you'll say, well, family testimony, uh, birth certificate, yeah, yeah. photos, camera. I don't believe my mother was uh, unfaithful. All of these yeah. things. But you mentioned he can One second. prove it through DNA. Oh, what? You mentioned that he could prove it through DNA. His dad's dead. Yeah, but his dad was. He's not though, is he? We're, we're, we're in, it's a real situation here. It's not hypothetical. Oh, okay. okay. Just relax. All right. So, um, so I wasn't being uh, insensitive saying your father was dead. No, no, Just no, stating a fact. No, all right. No. <laughs> and I'm not saying you're old. I'm not saying you're old either. <laughs> right. So, once we um, establish the principle of, so you can't prove your belief is true, because you're no, yeah, no, right, no, right, right, right. So far, but, so so but so your reasons will support your belief. Yeah. Right. So anyone can come with a belief, and if they have no proof for that belief, they need good reasons for that belief. Yeah. Yes. For, for not necessarily for it to be true, yes. but for you to be convinced it could be true. Yeah, yeah. Because look, everyone can believe what they want to believe. Now the question is, is, is their belief reasonable or not? Yeah. That's what we have to establish. Yeah. Because you might not have, you might not get why I do it, yeah. But if my reason, if it's reasonable, I've had a debate with an atheist, yeah. And when I explained my belief in a creator, he said to me, your belief is 100% logical. He said every single thing you've used to believe in a creator, I cannot touch it. And he was an atheist. Yeah. Right. And he was honest. Right. Because why? Because it is. Now whether you accept it because of that is another story. Right. But my principle is what establishing is establishing the fact that what I'm standing on is reason. Yeah. Well, I'm surprised if he if he believed that your whole rational your whole rationale about a creator was logical. I'm surprised he didn't become a convert then. No, it, it's that's only stage one. Okay. Okay. You've got another proposition to accept before you can do that. Right. Anyway, and we didn't have much time. He's a young lad, Sebastian from Eton. So he's a young lad. He's still got things to study and such. But it is what it is. But the point here is the principle remains the same. A belief, any belief, Christian belief, belief in the spaghetti monster, whatever you want to believe in, yeah? Yeah, yeah? If you want people to accept it or to accept what you're saying is reasonable, you need reason to support it. Yeah. Now, if I want to challenge the belief your father was your father, I need to now look into your reasons. Yeah. You're saying your mum, I don't know, your mum looks a bit dodgy. You know what I'm saying? I'd have yeah, to yeah. challenge it, right? Mm -hmm. If I can't challenge your reasons, I can't touch your belief. Right. You get that? Yeah, yeah. Right. So now we can extrapolate that to anything. So we'll do it to God now, yeah? To a creator now. Okay. All right. So why do I believe in a creator? I can't prove a creator, no. but I believe a creator exists. Yeah. So what are my reasons? Oh, okay. I believe everything that begins to exist requires a cause. I believe that. It requires a cause. I believe that. Right. What about quantum mechanics and a cause okay. and stuff? Everything I know that begins to exist requires a cause. If you want to go to quantum mechanics, can you prove that those um, what the things that you're seeing weren't already there but you just couldn't see them? No. So forget that All right. pseudo oh, physics yeah. or whatever. Oh, yeah. Let's stick to the reality here. Okay. I and this is my belief. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I believe everything that begins to exist requires a cause. Okay. Is is that reasonable to you? Is it reasonable to you? Uh, yeah. Thank you. So we're, 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 we're together so far. Okay. okay. I believe the universe began to exist. Right. Are we still together? Yeah. All right. So, so we're still logical, yeah? Yeah. Right. I believe the cause of the universe 
has to be uncaused. Has to be uncaused. By necessity. You've lost me now. Okay. If we be like, be believe the universe began to exist, yeah. according to our first principle, it requires a cause. Yeah. And that cause has to be uncaused. Uncaused. Yes. You'll have to explain what you mean. Okay. By that. If the cause of the universe has a cause, yeah. then that cause would require a cause, and that cause would require a cause, and we'd have the problem of okay. infinite regression. Okay. Okay. And we know because we're here of a present today, the, 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 we have a finite past. Right. You can't have an infinite past because you won't have the present. Why can't you have an infinite oh, okay. past? This bottle. I can't get this bottle until he gives it to me. He can't give it to him until someone else gives it to him. And if you go back infinitely, I'll never get the bottle. No, no, no. But this is all coming from a very rational perspective, isn't Obviously. It? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> There's some way to pass it. Okay, so I believe, and this is my belief again. Yeah, yeah. See, I don't believe you can solve the problem of infinite regression. Right. I don't believe you can. If you think you can solve it, by all means do so. Yeah. Well, no, I don't think I can solve it with my okay, rational okay. mind. Hang on. We're finite. Right, carry on. Accept it. We're finite. What's the next part? No, I said we're finite. I said, <laughs> I said the cause of the universe has to be uncaused. Yeah, okay. Because otherwise it would require cause, it this requires cause. Embedded so we're saying the. Yeah. Well, of course it is. Okay, okay. Because it's rationality, it's objective, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's just that ultimately I don't think we can fully oh, no, no. make sense of what's going no, on. No disrespect. What's your name? What's, it, what's, it, what's your name again? Tony. Tony, listen. Who cares? I'm talking about my belief. Yeah? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Right? About your belief. Why don't you say you, if you accept it or not? It's yeah. whether or not what I believe is logical or not. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing that. Sorry, I was just so sad. So anyway, so I believe the, the cause of the universe has to be uncaused. Right. All right? Yeah. You, you, you kind of agree or you... Uh, if you're looking from a rational perspective, which is what you're saying, yes. Okay. The rational perspective is not the only perspective. Okay. Uh, it's yours. So I respect that. Carry on. All right. Keep, keep going. What's the, next, what's the next part of this? Give me the next episode. Yeah, yeah. No, you look excited, man. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Tender hooks, yeah? <laughs> okay. Right. So then I believe... And this is my belief, yeah? yeah so I'm not yeah, saying yeah. you have to accept it to be true. All right. I believe that this cause of the universe is conscious. Right. I believe. Because I believe it caused the universe when it chose to cause the universe. Yeah. The universe is not a result of its existence. Right. Do you understand that? The universe is not a result Yeah, of just because this exists, the universe has to exist. I don't believe that. Oh, right. Okay. All right. Right? I don't mind if you're shaky on this right now, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You can be shaky on that, I don't mind. You can be shaky, yeah? I'm just wondering where it's all going. Go on, keep going. Oh, it's going, going to Islam, my friend. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Patience. Yes. All right. So I believe the cause of the universe has to be all powerful, more powerful than anything we can imagine, because there's nothing we know of that could have caused the universe. Right. Nothing has the power to do so. Right. Okay. Therefore, my cause of the universe is conscious and, and powerful, yeah. and I also believe that this cause of the universe requires intelligence. Right. Personally. Yeah. That's because I don't. Your belief. I, uh, uh? Your belief. Yeah. 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 So I believe that everything that we see in the universe, I believe that there's something intelligent behind it. It has to be for me. Is anything I've said so far unreasonable? It's your, it's your reality. No, no, no. I didn't ask that, did I? Belief. It's, it's your belief. No, 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 no. I didn't ask that. Now, did I? Now I've opened the floor to you. It's reasonable. It's reasonable in a way because you, because what you've said to me so far doesn't involve harming other creatures. Alhamdulillah. So you. So that's that's fair. Enough. Okay. Alhamdulillah. If it helps you to function. No, 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 no. Didn't say that. Didn't say that. Fantastic. Didn't say that either. Am I interested? I'm not interested at this point in religion. Right. I'm not interested in this point in God. Yeah. Or Bibles or Qurans or prophets. I've not mentioned nothing about this, have I? No, okay. I've remained on an intellectual, logical stance, yeah. tangent. Yeah. Right. Well, I, do, I wouldn't say that personally that we that there has to be some great intelligence steering. Oh, it, some right, right, right. Man. So you're saying, you're so you're saying, my belief that um, the cause of the universe doesn't require intelligence. Yeah. That's what you're saying. I would say that personally, I don't. What would you base that on? Doesn't really speak to me. What would you Based that on what about the fact evidence. that it was evidence. rife with imperfection? I've, no, I've not seen any evidence of uh, any great hand. No, no, no. What, what did we just say? We said the um, the belief is the result of a proposition. Yeah. So 
my belief yeah. is the idea that I believe the cause of the universe is intelligent. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You, now you said you don't believe that. No. Right. No, no tell me really. Yeah, but I no. need to believe no, 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 no. You know what? You know Just what? Take the word I'll allow it. No, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. It's a generic. It's a generic. No, term. I'm gonna allow it. I'm gonna allow it. I, I don't mind the shakiness. Right, right. 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 So for me right now, yeah. I my belief is an uncaused cause of all that exists that's conscious, intelligent and powerful. Okay. Cool. That's my belief. Yeah. Okay. That's proposition number one. Yeah. Proposition number two is that Muhammad Peace and blessings be upon him. Alhamdulillah. Claims to be a messenger of this creator. Right? Yeah. Um, now he's made this claim. If he is a messenger of this creator, then that means the creator is as we've defined it. And forget your whims and, oh, I don't need it, it needs intelligence and all this stuff. Because the messengers, to the, the, the creator's told you that's the, style, that's the status quo. Yeah? So if he is. Again? Okay. If Muhammad yes. is a messenger yeah, yeah, yeah. of this creator, right. and he's told, and this, me this creator has told Muhammad his nature, yeah. it doesn't matter what you think his nature is. And if Muhammad Sallallahu is the messenger, that means the creator does exist. Would yeah. you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So proposition one is the creator. Proposition two is what? Muhammad's claim. Yeah. So all this now is based on the claim of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yeah? Yeah. Right. You accept the concept of the absolute truth about the moon landing. When I, I give yeah, it, yeah. yeah. So, we did no, no, no. Yeah. The claim is man landed on the moon. Yeah, yeah. The reality is they did or they didn't. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. That's the con one of them is the absolute reality. Yeah, yeah. One of them is not. Yeah. All right. Okay. So if Muhammad Sallallahu claims to be a messenger of this Creator, what are our variables? He lied. Yeah. He was crazy. Yeah. He was deceived. Yeah. Always telling the truth. Yeah. Is there any more? Okay. No, I can't think of any more. Come on. No. Right, right. So if I can show you he didn't lie and wasn't crazy and wasn't deceived, then you have to accept he was a messenger of God. Yeah. Show me. Yeah, define messenger of God then. Okay. A man sent revelation from the Creator. But you can't prove to me that he wasn't mad or, or deceived or, or lied. All right, so right now, your, your claim is this. He lied, he was crazy or deceived. No, claim. That has to be. No, has no, to no, be. No. By default. I'm saying uh, it's possible. No, it has to be. It's By possible. default. It's possible. Do you believe he's a messenger of God? Yeah, but he no. could genuinely believe. So, so you believe he lied? He was crazy? I don't know. No, no, no. This isn't subjective. Okay, okay, okay. No one was, I wasn't alive at the time. I wasn't alive at the moon landing. It still happened. You understand? There's more evidence for the moon landing. No, no, but it's the principle. evidence that Muhammad was the messenger. No, 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 no. Okay, listen to me again. The principle of the moon landing happened, it did or it didn't, yes? In my opinion, it did. Right. Muhammad claimed to have a revelation from God. It happened or it didn't, yeah? Yeah, I was, uh, he claimed it, yes. No, I didn't ask what he claimed. People claim the moon landing happened, yeah? He claimed it, yeah? yeah? yeah. Okay. The reality is he either did or he didn't, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Right. Now, if you say he didn't, then there's three more variables. If he didn't, listen. If he didn't, then he lied about a revelation, or he was crazy thinking he had a revelation, yeah. Yeah. or he was deceived by the devil imitating an angel pretending to give him a revelation. There's no other choice. There is. There is another choice. Well, well, the other choice for me is that I don't know. No, 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 who, no. I don't know who the man landed on the moon. Another. Doesn't change the fact man landed on the moon or not, does it? Well, another choice could be he genuinely, genuinely believes that he is a messenger of God. Doesn't mean to say he is. He's but he no, 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 that, but that's... no, 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 no. But that, that you say deceived has a nefarious. No, you didn't. Partition. You didn't listen. You didn't listen. I did. I did. Oh, what I did. were the three options? Yeah, you're right. What were the three options? I lied. That no. He was lying. Another party. He was. He was lying. That he was deceived, or that he's crazy. No, crazy means delusional. Yeah, delusional. What's delusion? That, no, what's delusion? I want something less. No, no. no what's delusion? Less intense. What is delusion? Delusion. What is delusion? Delusion. 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 I'm, I'm a psychiatric. A no, that's not. Del okay. Delusion. What's delusion? It's a, it's a fixed belief that that is held by the person without without any evidence. Close, close. I'll tell you what delusion is. Fixed and I'm not... A, I'm fixed not false belief. Uh, okay, okay. First thing, that 
Right, okay. First thing, I'm not a psychiatric nurse, but I'm going to say you're close. Okay. Delusion is believing in something in spite of overwhelming evidence to the contrary. Yes. yes. Yeah? Okay. So if Muhammad believed he was having revelation from God, then that's delusion if he wasn't. Yeah. No, but no, 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 because you can't say all the evidence to the contrary. He could genuinely believe yes. that he was a messenger of God, right. but there is no evidence to the contrary. So what would you he call that? Genuinely what would you call that? I don't know, I'm trying to find the word. Well, the, the I don't know. The psychiatrist is just uh, uh, I don't know, but he's not delusional. Would you say believing in somebody something... Somebody's delusional is somebody who's actually but crazy, we should, we should but it's actually we counter. Should, but he's a psychiatric nurse. We should respect the, the authority. He's a, he's a, he's a psychiatric nurse. Sorry, I, I think about 80% of people hear voices. He's a psychiatric nurse. Yeah. Quite a lot. Right, he's a psychiatric nurse. Let's, 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 so, let's go to so here's the his, so he concedes if someone thinks they're hearing voices from angels, yeah, and they're not, that's crazy, isn't it? We have to be fair. No. What is it then? I'm, I don't know. I cannot. Well, that's not fair, fair is it? I'm saying you're saying, I found the word. Tell you, me the word's okay, wrong. You found the word. You said somebody who's delusional is somebody who genuinely believes something, even though there was huge evidence to the contrary. No, no. That's when you could call him. No, 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 no. I said delusion is believing in something in spite of overwhelming evidence. Okay, in spite of overwhelming evidence. Right, right, whatever. right. But what I'm saying is, so you don't want to I'm use looking for a word where somebody genuinely believes it, but there is no overwhelming evidence okay. to the contrary. There's nothing to actually yeah. say. I, okay. I can disprove. I can disprove. What do you think? Of, what would you say about somebody? You what do you? Okay. You oh, okay, okay. What, what would you, you call somebody? It's true. Or one second. Untrue. One second. What would you call somebody who thinks they're hearing voices from God? Evidence that Islam presents in relation to the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to Crazy! Say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's standard, man. It's semantics. No, you would. I don't mind it. I'm, just, I'm writing a book on this. So any extra details I'd love. I cannot think of a word that encapsulates what I'm trying to say. Of the type of person who genuinely believes it, there is no major evidence to say... What would you say about someone who genuinely believes they're hearing voices telling them to go and kill someone? Just for example. What would you call that person? Yeah. Then you would and they're saying to you, they I heard the voices telling me to do it. Yeah, yeah. Then you would say they're crazy. So Muhammad is saying what he's saying because he heard voices telling him. No, 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 no. Because, because that is something no, that but, is inspired but the, by evil. No, no, but, no, 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 no. You can't talk about good and evil if you're an atheist. Believe in me. Or some, well, you can. You can't. Somebody who does something that is nefarious, something's got to, to harm who does, who, No, no, no. That has got nothing to do with so you, God. Are you, just something. No, 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 because then you'll argue in war, men kill other men. But you give reasons, it's good reason to kill other men because they were gonna. Do you understand? It becomes all messy then. You can't do that. For me, the standard of right and wrong, good and evil, only belongs to God. Yeah, because evil is what goes against God, according to the definition of the word evil. But anyway, anyway. But what I'm saying to you is this. So somebody hears a voice to go and kill someone, yeah? For, for example. And they genuinely believe that voice is telling them to do it. Most people would think. What would you call them? This guy's probably going crazy. I suppose he crazy wouldn't be far. Right. Now, if Muhammad Sallam is saying things because he genuinely believes he's being told to say this stuff, what would you call him? It's the same, mate. Don't hide behind it, it's the same. No, it's not. It's not. Because... What's the difference? Because if you're talking about somebody who genuinely believes that God is inspiring to say something or to teach something, those are his beliefs. No, 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 but there's no difference between someone hearing a voices telling them to jump off a bridge or go and kill someone, yeah? Then Muhammad hearing voices in the same scenario. There's no difference. Well, I think the difference is... If you think there's a difference, please highlight it and give me a word for it. Because I, I, I don't see a difference. All right. Finding a semantic to actually encapsulate... All right. I don't mind. I, 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 All right. Do you accept one thing? At least accept one thing. Should we bring it back into the circle? Yeah, there's that. Or, or you're, you're a nice one, isn't it? Should I continue? Or are you? Yeah, no, you can if you want to, but I thought you'd uh, switch. So what I'm saying is this. So once, I'll go back to the two propositions. OK. So let's just say with the new word. All right. If you claim someone genuinely believes what he's saying is coming from God, yeah, then he's not lying. Would you agree? If he says that it's something that's coming from God, lying, no. Right. Good, good. Word, is, he de on, is he deceived? No. If he, Deceived is again. That, uh, you're not finding the right tone of word. Is he deceived? They can't say. You can't say misguided. misguided. No. What, what's guiding him? No, no, no. You can't use. Yeah, exactly. 
exactly. Well, the, see, the atheists can't make the claim of deception. You can't make the claim of deception. The only ones who make the claim of deception we are the Christians. I've been a psychiatric nurse for 28 years, and I've met many people who genuinely believe I agree. That, they, that God is speaking to them. Are they crazy? And they're barking mad. I agree. No, 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 no. no. I'm with you. He's the one who's different. All right, okay. The point here is this. If you claim Muhammad is uh, deceived, you're an atheist, you're agnostic, I'm isn't agnostic. it? Right, right. So you don't believe, uh, do you believe an angel, sorry, you don't believe the devil transformed into an angel and pretended to Muhammad who's from God, do you? It's a story. No. Do you believe that? No. Look, right. No. Alhamdulillah. I don't believe it, but I don't disbelieve it, because I can't prove it either. No, but we're, we're talking about beliefs here. I might tell you that... The we're talking about tangents here. I might tell you that the moon's made of green cheese, you know? You can't prove it. Do you believe in the devil? Do you believe in the devil? Define devil. Uh, the, uh, the, the one created by God to, uh, to test man in this world? No. Right. So you can't claim the devil to see man, can you? You know, I, I, I don't believe it, but I don't disbelieve it. Believe it either because I can't prove it either way. No, no, but belief doesn't require proof. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. For me to, so for me to believe in something, oh, was it? I what? have to be oh, able to oh, prove okay, it. Have to be reasonable reason. No, 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 that's different though. Proof is not reasonable reason. Okay, 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 okay. I have to have a good reason. Something has, to, I have to have a motivation to say, yes, I believe that. Do you accept a belief could be true without proof? Without, without proof. No. All right. <laughs> Watch this. Do you believe a <laughs> do you accept a belief could be true without proof? Yes! Yes! <laughs> he has to accept it. Because I, I give him an example that you can't refute, which proves the rule. Alright, shall I do it on you? No, but see, yeah, I, I heard what you were saying earlier. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? No, you were talking. The no, whole no, point is, the whole point Does is. Does the belief need proof to be the true? Point, the whole point is, I could therefore accept, oh, the, 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 therefore, the Prophet Muhammad and the things he said were absolutely true. Right. Because he wasn't a lie, he wasn't crazy, etc., etc. So why shouldn't I use in that same rationale? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to accept all of the teachings of Jesus Christ. Right, okay, exactly okay, 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 reason. okay. I don't mind. It's exactly the same. I don't mind. Reason. I'm going to accept all the teachings. Do you want to try it? Do you want to try it? A Buddha. Do you want to try exactly it? The same Do you want to try it? I don't mind. Try what? Try and try another claim. I don't mind. See, I'll, I'll make it easy for you, yeah? I can collapse every other belief, mate. Because you know when you have a belief, right? It doesn't need proof, it needs good reason, yes? Good reason. Right. Yeah, it's fine. So when someone comes with a belief, whether it's Christianity or Buddhism or whatever, they need to support it with good reason, isn't it? Yes. Uh, they don't have, they don't have good reason. They don't have what? They don't no, have no, good no, reason. No. I don't believe but Muslims do. Of course we do. Muslims are the only ones who do. Yes. All the others are barking at the wrong tree. Yes. Okay. No. But, uh, but, no, but, but, no, but where is the good reason? No, no, no. no. Well, where is the good reason, though? Where's the good reason to uh, uh, in Islam? I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just bloody doing no, 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 forty no, no, minutes no. on it. No, 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 no. But that did not provide it's good your, reason. All right. Belief. Your, your belief. Whole, you were basically and saying you, you don't need to prove it. No, I said we need good reason to accept yeah, it. Yeah, true. good reason. But your whole good What's my reason is based on one premise. Oh, yeah. Do you and that is okay. the Prophet Muhammad? No, 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 no. Wasn't crazy, no, 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 no. Wasn't delusional. All right, right, uh, exactly. Yes. I'm sorry, that doesn't stack up. That is a very why, why, why? What are you talking about? No, what do you mean? Why doesn't stack no, up? No, no, no. Support no. that claim. Because, merely because you believe that he wasn't delusional, that he wasn't lying, that he wasn't. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. What, doesn't mean that they're. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Mick. 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 Listen, Mick. Muhammad Sallallahu had to be telling the truth, or had to be lying, or had to be deceived, or had to be crazy or whatever name you couldn't make up for the fifth variable yeah. it has to be one of them right it's the fifth variable that i believe yeah because right okay you believe the fifth variable yeah i believe that therefore well, stop, stop 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 you believe the fifth variable yes why because <laughs> that makes sense to me. Give me your good reason. Because there's no reason to believe. No, no, I want your good reason to believe it. No, my good reason is that he could, that there's the possibility... No, no, that he could, no, that's no, no, not no, a good no. reason. Well, okay, it's, a, it's, a, it's a reasonable reason. You haven't given me any reasons. There's no actual reason All right, to Give me the good possible. reason why you believe your variable. Give me good reason. Because you said a belief needs good reason. Give me it. No, 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 no. But, uh, the whole point I said was, uh, with reference to the good reason, is 
there's nothing that is sure. He could, no, 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 he could genuinely believe that what he's got from God is from God. Why don't you believe he's telling the truth? it doesn't mean it's automatic. Why don't you believe he's telling the truth? Because there's no proof to believe. Believe it's true. We just said you don't need proof for a belief. No, 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 no. You have good, re you need good reason. Right, there's no right, right. reason to believe that what he's saying is actually true. No, but you're under that same premise. I should therefore accept everything from Jesus Christ no. for the same reason. All right. Everything Let me see. No, you know what? Twice you said that, red herring, so I'm going to deal with it. All right. You said I should, just using this principle, you're saying I should accept everything Jesus Christ says, okay? All right. I'm no, going to. No, 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 you just no, no. did. I'm saying under the same. I'm, yeah, reason. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to use the same, I'm use the same principle. Say bang. Let me show you. Let me show you how it works. Let okay. me show you how it works. All right. A Christian claims Jesus Christ is God, Son of God. Yeah? Yep. Died for his sins, that's his salvation. Yep. Why does he believe that? He believes that because the Bible says so. Yep. Why do you believe what the Bible says? The Bible's the word of God. Why do you believe the Bible's the word of God? Because in this verse it says such and such a thing. Well, first thing, that's circular reasoning. Exactly. That's, that's the first thing. Second thing, how do you know that that's what was said? How can you trust the authors of this yep. book, right? Because it was written 60 years yeah. after the event. Right, yes. right, right, exactly. exactly. You so so using your logic, Christians cannot use that principle. Bring another one. Buddhism, but bring Buddhism. You believe one second, one second. No, no, no. I want to kill his red errands. Buddhism. Buddhism comes. Yeah, Buddhism is the truth. Really? What's the connection to God? Oh, uh, well, there's no connection to God. All right, learn, learn. what's next? Sikhism? No, I'm, I'm sure. What's next? Go on. Carry on. I'm concerned that you're saying that I'm concerned. I, have, I, lo I quite like you, but I'm quite concerned when you say that you, you, you believe that Islam is the only true way and everyone else is. Do you, do you accept? Hear me a minute. No, no. no I want you to hear me. I mean, well, well, for a moment, oh, well, well, all right? Because I've been involved in all sorts of religions it. over the years, well, 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 political beliefs, come, and I get very concerned when anyone believes, when anyone states that they have some sort of blueprint for the whole of humanity, because that is that implies is that logical? That's the root of the problems in the world. I disagree with we you. We have to accept. I disagree with you. We have to, just as I respect you as a Muslim, you have to respect the Christian, the agnostic, no, 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 no. the Buddhist, no, no, first and that they have their something reality. To you. No, hear me a minute. Their reality is good for them and works for oh, them. Okay. Just because re right. your reality works for you, and that's great, Muhammad, right. peace and love be upon him, that's great for you, but that doesn't necessarily mean that, that, that it's great for right. everybody. Right. Right. And it's the mistake that everybody has. When I, when I, when right. people have sure. okay. powerful, no, just one more minute. When people have powerful conversions, religious experiences, born again experiences, spiritual experiences, in a way it's natural, I can understand it, it's natural because you've had your life changed and you feel your life's been illuminated, you want to go out and you want to preach the world and you want to change this and change that person and, and spread the word and stuff. It's understandable, but it's a, it's a, it's actually a stumbling block because your reality is not the prescription for everybody else's reality. And if you think it is, then we get into absolutism and that's the rocky road to totalitarianism right. and ultimately for killing those people over there because they don't conform to your reality. All right, all right, all right. Or saying that they're going to burn in hell forever in the, because they don't conform to your reality. Right. It's the root of all the unhappiness and misery in the world. Have you finished? Uh, for now. All right. First thing, the, the reason of the roots of unhappiness in this world has got nothing to do with God. Nothing. It's to do with man and his um, uh, lack, lack of, of God. No. no. It's through man's lack of guidance. That's what it's through. Man thinking he can legislate himself and, and know for himself what will benefit and harm him. That's the problem. Well, I believe in that. No, well, I'm a yeah, you're a humanist, that's fine. Yeah, but unfortunately, there are many people who are victims of themselves because they didn't have any guidance and the guidance they were on was bad guidance. And there were many millions of people yeah, 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 yeah. Un under the ground pushing up daisies. Right. Because anyway, of that's the first thing I wanted to address. Because of religion. That was the first thing I wanted to address. The second thing I wanted to address was your idea that it's wrong to be saying that your way is correct and everyone else is wrong. Okay, it's wrong. Unfortunately, we've we've just I don't know for the past 50 minutes we've talked about what. Listen, I let you talk. Yeah, yeah. We talked about the absolute truth, isn't it? Yeah. Now, my belief, yeah. what I believe is true, cannot be reconciled with anything else. Cannot. Yeah, well, that's unfortunate. No, no, no. It's not unfortunate. It is. Do you know why? Because that exposes. If mine is true, that means that everyone else is in denial. Everyone else has been deceived, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So when I recognize my belief as the truth and I see someone on another belief and I know 
according to my belief, that is wrong. I need to question them as to why they believe what they believe, isn't it? Yeah. Right. And they can't support it. But it's usually what you just said. Way. It's usually what you said. They've had an epiphany. They've had a, a, a life-changing... Really? Yes, I'm, I'm sure you... Really? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't make assumptions about me, my friend, because you'll be wrong. Right. You still haven't told us the logic of believing that the Quran is the word of Allah. You went through the Christian Bible and how the Christians believe it's a Bible. Okay, okay. Well, he has. But uh, exactly. No, yeah, no, he, he got it. Either, Mick got it. No, uh, either, either Allah was delusional, either... No, 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 no. no. Uh, Muhammad. Muhammad, sorry, sorry, sorry. Was, was the... Uh, yes. So either in the cave an angel came, yeah. either in the cave a devil came disguised as an angel, either in the cave nothing came and he lied, yeah, or either in the cave he thought he was hearing voices but he wasn't hearing it or mixed fifth variable i don't know what name we're going to put to it right because well, how do you he kind of believes it but all right all right I'll, I'll explain it to you i don't need to prove the quran is from allah okay all i need to do is believe muhammad is telling the truth and to do that i have to look at him and I have to challenge, was he a liar? And I have to challenge that concept. Okay. Then I say, was he crazy? Or mixed, made up word. <laughs> Whatever it is. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I have to look at that. And then, I, uh, <laughs> or was he deceived? And then I have to look at that. Now, me personally, I don't believe he was deceived. Yeah? Because the only one who could deceive him according to... Because the only Christians make this claim. Many people believe he was... Epic, yeah? And according to the Bible, Satan cannot do what he's being accused of doing. All right. So now the, the reason the reason I said now Mick's mix been he knows what he's heard, <laughs> right? The point here is this, yeah. And this is what I was trying to emphasise. If you say he lied, stand on it. And all I have to do then to prove he's telling the truth is refute that claim. How? Well, I would question why did he lie? What was his motivations? Do you understand? Why would he suffer persecution? All of this stuff for a lie? Yeah. Many people believe he was epileptic. You can believe as you like, my friend, but whoever believes he was epileptic, yeah, give me the good reason to believe he's to be epileptic. What is it that Muhammad said? Because you said it's, if you believe that Muhammad is the messenger, then you automatically believe. No, what I said is this. I said, if you don't believe he lied, and you don't believe he was crazy, on whatever his variable is, <laughs> and you don't believe he was deceived, well, then he has to be telling the truth. Okay, well, you can see exactly the same, exactly the same. And then, and then what happens, and then when you hear the message, that will then put form on the creator. It's too, what? Too well formed. What do you mean? Oh, it's too well formed. You could use exactly the same. It's locked down, my friend, it's locked down. You could use exactly the same, exactly the same. Well, say it again, say it again, say it again. So you believe that Muhammad, peace and blessing upon him, in the cave, pretended he had an... No, way before that. What do you mean, way before that? Whenever he devised his plan to do this. So he, so for 40 years he's known as a trusted one so by the people who knew him. Yeah, so you say. So maybe well, you don't believe he was called the trusted one? No, he might have been, but I mean, you know, well, well, no. for 40 years. Did you just say for 40 for, years? Yeah, because he received revelation when he was 40. Okay, okay. You know, Muhammad's not just plucked out the sky. We have a history, you know that, don't you? Yeah, no, but it doesn't mean I need to believe it. Yeah, but okay, so you did. I didn't say you did have to believe it. No, but we're okay. no I said, yeah. you made the claims. You said he lied. Yeah, yeah, of course. Give me the reasons. I don't need to. Well, okay, you're making okay, the claim. Okay, hang on. <laughs> we just said, no, one second, one second. we just said a belief requires reason. Where's your reason? Where's your reason? You have no, you have no, you have no more. Go, 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 go. What? You have no more. Uh, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm, sa point. I'm saying, he he was, I don't believe he lied. I don't believe he lied. When I say lied, it's a discussion. I'm not making. A, a claim because and I will start the discussion if you don't mind. Right. Revelation. So, right. So the principle is this: if he didn't lie and he wasn't crazy and he wasn't deceived, then he has to be telling the truth. And if he's telling the truth, sure. then what he brought was from the Creator. That means the Creator exists, and therefore we're on the guidance. And then that guidance exposes all the other ways of life as forgery. But it's okay. okay. We're telling, hang on, hang on, hang on. So we're telling a truth. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. And then we go back to a belief can be true without proof, but it requires good reason. And I've given my reasons. He couldn't be a liar. Couldn't. I don't believe he was a liar. If you want to make the claim. Make it. Okay, but they're your beliefs. <laughs> they don't stand up anymore. Okay, I don't believe your father was your father. I believe your mum cheated on your uh, your father, and you're not you're the, the man who you he thought was your father. Me, I'm not saying it. It doesn't make it true, does it? Can I just get no, in It doesn't make it true, does it? Because I'm saying it. Because no, I'm no, saying it no, it doesn't. No. Changes nothing, does it? No. So just as you're saying it's my beliefs, that doesn't make it false, mate. Yeah, but that's true. your. But the point of the, the crux of this issue is it's your beliefs, and I respect. Your no, 
no, no, no. I respect your beliefs. Listen, please. Uh, listen. Don't no, no, it's talking. I'm not interested your in your subjective so opinion. No. I'm not interested in your well, subjective opinion, mate. Nice. I'm not interested in what is it in yours. No, no, but I'm dealing in objectivity here. You're dealing in subjectivity. You believe it's objective. You're in whims and desires. You're arrogant enough to believe that your subjective reality is objective. I'm not subjective, though. You are arrogant What did I say, subjective? Your subjective reality is objective reality. What did I say, subjective? Arrogant. What did I say, subjective? Your subjective reality, your personal beliefs about What have I said the subjective? Fantastic. Brilliant for you. No, how is that subjective? Because it's your subjective. Are you saying, I don't believe he lied because I felt like he didn't lie? Well, you haven't given a reason. You just so I don't know why. If he wasn't crazy, yeah, exactly. Then he must be the truth. Do you accept that? He has to be one of them. It's no, your because beliefs. I need evidence. Exactly. Okay. I, I don't have to go back again. Do you need evidence man landed on the moon to know if man landed on the moon or not? Yes. Uh, right. Do you believe man landed on the moon? No. You don't. No. Because you need proof. Yes. Does that mean man didn't land on the moon? No, but Hamza, hold on a second, Hamza. It's, it's a, that's a very, very important thing that you've just mentioned there, which is on it. Okay. Now, now. We're just going. We don't need proof for a belief. Hold on a second. Anyway, let us your belief. I need to see proof. Can I just ask you? The, the no, problem no. is here. I don't have a problem with what Hamza is saying. That he doesn't need proof to have a belief. Yes. It's when he then. No, I didn't say to... that. You I said, said a belief yeah. doesn't need proof okay, yeah. to be true. Oh, yeah. So I don't have a problem with that at all. It's when he then starts adding the logic. Well, if Muhammad wasn't delusional, and if Muhammad wasn't lying, and if Muhammad had not been misguided, that means he was telling the truth. Well, it has to be, isn't it? Yeah, but then I'm like, what evidence do you have that he was telling no, the no, truth? No, 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 we don't need evidence for that. That's that's the that's whole point. That's we, I'll tell you why not. But we, you, I'll, I'll explain why not. I'll explain why not. I'll explain why not. You said why not. Said you shouted why not. Me, Would you like to know? Me, hear me a minute. You said to this guy that he needed evidence. When he said that he thought Muhammad was lying, he needs evidence. You're that's saying you don't. No, 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 no. You, no, 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 no. Okay, I'll make it easy. I'll say what I said. Okay. You're saying you don't need evidence. Shall I explain what I said? Shall I explain what I said? Okay. He said he believed he was lying. I give my good reasons why I don't believe he lied. Yes. Right. So he needs to give his good reasons why he lied. <laughs> what, so, but your reasons don't stand up. <laughs> All right. What were my reasons? Your reasons are that he was. That there are these, these other options. That no, 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 no. What were my reasons for not believing he lied? We're not. For not believing that. Yeah, you just said. You just said my reasons for not believing he lied doesn't stand up, right? Yeah. So I'm asking you, what of my reasons? Well, you went into this whole thing that there were other options. No, 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 no. There was four options. Okay. Okay, here's your problem. Then listen, please. Right. I said I don't believe he was a liar. He said he believes he lied. Okay. I give my reasons why I don't believe he lied. Give them again, because I'm. Oh, okay. He was known as a trusted one, according to what we know about him. What does that mean? He's nothing. Okay. So for 40 years he was known as the one who told the truth. Yeah. So you're accusing what's? If you're accusing someone of being a liar. Nothing. 800 people died in Guyana because they all believed. Believed in Jim Jones. Okay, you know. Okay, I'll say it again to you. I'll say it's your problem. I'll too. give you my reasons. I'll say it's your problem too. Okay, I'll give you my reasons, and if you don't interrupt, I can continue. Okay, for 40 years he was known as a trusted one. So when someone's called the trusted one for 40 years, my question I have to ask myself: Why would he start lying now? That's my first point. Then I say: What is the motivation for anybody who lies? They want money. They want power. They want women. They want status. They want something. They're doing it for a reason. When when you make things up, you're doing it for gain. So my question would be asked, if this man was making things up and doing it for gain, what was he doing it for? Then I look at his life. He had status in the city because his uncles run the Kaaba. He was married to the richest woman in Mecca. Yeah? And even when he was calling the people and the, the custodians of the Mecca said to the, um, his uncle, tell him to stop doing this and we'll give him uh, money and status and all of these things. And his response was what? If they put the moon in my left and the sun in my right, I will never give up this call. Okay. So the man was offered things to stop doing this, saying this lie, if it's a lie, and he continued. And then from there, they were persecuted, they were tortured, they were exiled in the desert. Now the question is this, I cannot accept, I cannot believe a man will go through all of that, lose all of his status for a lie. I've given you all my reasons why I don't believe he lied. You say that you, you believe... You don't need to give reasons why you... But I have. But you don't need to. We just said, a belief requires good... I know, but Hamza, you're getting really upset with us. Do you know why? Because you're trolling now, and I'll what explain why. Do you accept a belief requires good reason to be true without proof? 
Uh, we're, start again, slow Do down. you accept a belief requires... Belief doesn't need anything. It's a belief. So you can believe in fairies without proof? Of course. Without reason? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Does that make it true? No. Right. But don't conflate the two. They're two separate, separate things. You uh, believe in something. Fine. What's a belief? Except as a proposition. Why would you believe in yeah. Why would you believe in fairies? Because it... Look, we believe things when we read a book. No, no. Why would you believe in fairies? Can I, can, can answer can I just the question in another angle? angle? Oh, my God. You are trolling. I'm not trolling. No disrespect. I have to cut you out of the conversation. So back to the point, yeah? So I give you all my... We've already established if we can't prove something to be true and it's a belief for a belief to be considered to be true you need good reason to support it I've given my good reason to support the idea that he didn't lie now if someone wants to make a claim they lied they give their reasons for why he lied and what we do then we measure it up and then we make a logical conclusion of probability which one makes more sense now if you have an agenda and you just don't want to accept the idea of a god you're going to try and hook up by crook trying to deny him but if you want to make a claim the burden of proof is upon you